Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and today I have an unboxing of the August Aluma Crate. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Aluma Crate, they are a monthly UK-based bookish subscription box. In here, you get one brand new either fantasy or science fiction hardback and a selection of bookish goodies. I am a rep for Aluma Crate, so this was sent to me by Aluma Crate to show to you guys, so thank you so much for that. And if you guys would like to get your hands on your very own box after watching this video, my code is Becca5, and that will get you a discount on your purchase. So I don't remember what the theme for this one is, but I do remember that it's sci-fi, so let us crack her open. Okay, so the theme for August is Identity Crisis, and I don't look at the spoilers, but if you guys want to, you can pause it here and have a little look. The theme for September is Sinister Surroundings, and it is for fans of Rooted, Red Rising, Caraval, and Kingdom of Souls, and the book in the September box has already been revealed. I'm very excited about it because it is Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, so I'm really excited to see what the Illuminate edition of that is going to look like. Okay, so getting into the box, let's get rid of the packaging. And the first item is a tin. Oh, it's one of these book shaped tins. Okay, what book is this? Is this Percy Jackson? The quote on this says, if my life is going to mean anything, I have to live it myself. And we also have on the back, where's the beginning? On the back it says, knowing too much about your future is never a good thing. And we also have a quote on the inside as well. A kind act can sometimes be as powerful as a sword. And yes, this is inspired by Percy Jackson. Next up we have this, which is, ooh, it is a hoot. Is this inspired by Illumine? Yes, this is an Aiden quote from Illumine and it says, I am not and then I am. On the spoiler card, it says that this is a pin hoop. I have to say, when I get pin flags and pin hoops, I prefer them to have like a design around the edge as opposed to something in the center because I don't use them if they have something in the center to put pins on because I don't want to cover up the design. But I do really love Illumine and I do love the pink and purples in this design. Okay, so next up. It's very shiny. Oh my god. Is this Mistborn? Is that Kelsia? Yes, this is a Mistborn print designed by Alice Maria Power. And just look at it. Just look at Vin and Kelsia and Elin. Oh my god. I actually really like this. I think that the art style is stunning as well. It almost looks like a photo. And as you guys may know, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, which is the first book in the Mistborn series, is one of my favourite books of the year so far. And I'm desperate to continue with that series. Next up we have this. This. By the looks of it, it could be a roll-on perfume, which I know they have included in a loom crate before. Ooh, this one's cute coil, which is actually really helpful because I have acrylic nails and my nail tech tells me that I should put cute coil on daily, but it's more like every other day, to be honest, I can't lie. So this one is called The Huntress, and the scent is Lemon, Geranium, and Cursed Forest. And this one, I believe, is inspired by We Hunt the Flame, which is a book I haven't read yet, so it's just... Ooh. Ooh, this is like really lemony. I like that this is a rollerball actually because it's just really easy to roll onto your cuticles. I've done this and now I'm gonna get cuticle oil all over the book. As far as scents go, lemon is not like my favorite scent. I do like a like an almond cuticle oil because it smells amazing, but as it's cute coil, that will actually come in really handy. And I'm actually gonna have a look. This is made by Madame Alchemy. I'm gonna go and have a look in the store and see if they just regularly do cute coil because it's something that I do use quite a lot of. And I would rather support small bookish businesses than the enormous beauty industry. Mmm, smells really fresh. It kind of smells like garden, like when you've been gardening and your hands smell of just like green. That's the scent I'm getting from this. Next up we have the monthly pin. Every Illumicrate does have a monthly pin in it as kind of like a bonus item. And this is inspired by the book of the month, so we are a little bit spoiled now because the book of the month it says on the card is The Space Between Worlds and on the pin itself it says World Walker. This has been designed by Fable and Black and I really like the design of the pin. I do 
do tend to generally really like Fable and Black's designs anyway. Before we get onto the book, we do have something missing from this month's box, which is the Rampion Tumbler, which was designed by Forensics and Flowers. It says, stay hydrated on your trip to save the galaxy from an imposter queen with this tumbler inspired by Captain Thorne's beloved ship from the Lunar Chronicles. Illumicrate have been having some issues with the shipping of the items for the boxes. So what they've been doing is sending the boxes as soon as they can. And any missing items either follow on or are included with next month's box if you have like a rolling subscription. So that will probably arrive at some point. I'll show you them because I really like the Lunar Chronicles and a tumbler is an item that I would actually use. But for the book, which we've already established is the space between worlds. Let's have a look at the Illumicrate edition. It's very, very pink. Oh, we like it. So this is The Space Between Worlds by Mikaya Johnson. Love the color on this. It's coming off, is it more purple? It's, if you put it directly into the sunlight, like look at the pages, it looks fluorescent pink, but then it does kind of like, as you tilt it away from the light, it does look more purple. But I would say that this is a fluorescent pink edition. This is an exclusive Lumicrate edition as well. I mean, all of the books are, but some of them aren't too different from the originals. But I will overlay the original cover over the top because it is a little bit different. And I do really like this edition, but I don't know anything about this. On the back it says, of the 380 realities that have been unlocked, Kara is dead in all but eight. So honestly, I'm already really, really intrigued. The inside dust jacket says, eccentric genius Adam Bosch has cracked the multiverse and discovered a way to travel to parallel Earths. There's just one problem. No one can visit a world where their counterpart is still alive. Enter Kara. Of the 380 realities that have been unlocked, Kara is dead in all but eight. Born in the wastelands outside the wealthy and walled off Wiley City, that is a mouthful. Kara has fought her entire life just to survive. So when she's offered a job traveling the multiverse and a safe place in the city to call home, she's willing to do anything to keep it that way. But then one of her doppelgangers dies under mysterious circumstances and Kara is plunged into a new world with an old secret. What she discovers will connect her past and future in ways she never could have imagined and reveal her own role in a plot that endangers not just her Earth, but the entire multiverse. A stunning science fiction day Debut, the Space Between Worlds is both a cross-dimensional adventure and a powerful examination of identity, privilege, and belonging. Oh, it has a um, really pretty spine as well. I want to say that the sound of the synopsis of this book is one of the best books I've received from a subscription box where I haven't already heard of the book. I'm sure you guys will notice if you watch a lot of my unboxings, but a lot of the books that I get in subscription boxes that I wasn't aware of before doing the unboxing, I normally say, oh, this sounds like it has a standard fantasy type plot line but this is something that has immediately grabbed my attention. I love logic based sci-fi and I really love thinking about things like parallel universes and how like one decision can change all these things. So I'm really excited about this book and to see how everything plays out in there. So this is the August Illumicrate unboxing. My favourite item from this box is definitely the cuticle oil I want to say because like I said I am going to use it but in terms of how things look I'm gonna say it's the Miss Bond print because it's Miss Bond and the art on this is absolutely stunning. So please let me know down in the comments what your favourite item from this box was. A huge thank you to Illumicrate once again for sending me this box to show to you guys and if you guys would like to get your hands on your very own Illumicrate, in the description box you'll find a link to Illumicrate's website, all of their social media and also my discount code. But that is it for this video guys so please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. If you head into my description box you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the instagram for that and a 10 percent off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go where nobody knows with guns in under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no